Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today I'm playing through Marvel Champions. Yes, I realize Steve is streaming tonight. I apologize, two streams in one day. I could have waited till tomorrow, but I really couldn't because I am so excited to keep going on this campaign. It's, I'm on the, to the last two missions. If you haven't seen the first three, don't worry. There's a little spoiler, story spoiler in there, but uh, you know, a, as we go forward, but. If you want to see the last two missions, if you want to see cool gameplay, that's what we're here for anyway. Um, although I am honest, I am so excited to finish with this campaign. Uh, that's why I'm doing it today, and I, I couldn't even wait another day to get back into it. So uh, super excited. Hopefully I get through the last two missions. Um, but let's see. Guy Rich is getting away. So if you remember last time, let's see. Magneto um, basically turned on us and set the... Uh, what are they called? The giant, uh, see, this is where I need to be more of a fan of the Marvel stuff. Uh, he set the giant, what are those things on us? Um, Sentinels, that's what they're called. I knew that. <coughs> so, um, or wait, no, that didn't happen. He was helping us, I'm sorry, destroy the Sentinel factory last time. And, uh, so now Guy Rich is getting away. Uh, oh no, Oh, no, you're not. You're not leaving till you shut this thing down. So, again, the Sentinel program had gotten started. Never mind that. I'm taking Master Mold with me to destroy M. That wasn't the deal, Mags. It was always my plan, child, and you served your part admirably. Iceman, Storm, stop him! Farewell, X-Men. I'm afraid we're both needed elsewhere. Sorry, so this is where Magneto betrays us. So, X-Mansion. Hey, Megan, wait up. Hurry, Vic, I'm late for class. Pshh. Glass shattering. Knock, knock. School's out, suckers. The mansion is under attack to me, X my, to me, my X-Men. Alrighty, so Magneto not only traded on us and took the control of the Sentinels, but he also is uh, attacking our base. So, scenario four, mansion attack. The combined powers of Magneto and the X-Men prove too much for Master Mold and its army of Sentinels to withstand, and the mutants triumph over the machines. But instead of destroying the Sentinel factory, as agreed, Magneto used his power of magnetism to lift Master Mold out of the subterranean facility and fly it to his orbital fortress, Asteroid M. The X-Men try to prevent Magneto from escaping, but they are summoned back to the man X-Mansion by a telepathic distress call from Pre Professor X. The Xavier Institute is under attack. Magneto ordered his brotherhood to assault the school in order to draw off his pursuers and buy him time to reprogram Master Mold. This doesn't sound good, by the way. Stinking Magneto. The X-Men give up their pursuit and race back to X-Mansion to confront the Brotherhood of Mutants. So, there's uh, a couple things going on. There's multiple villains here. So, in the standard mode, we got to defeat two villains to win. So, this is another multi-villain scenario. Although, in this one, you're only facing one at a time. You could face Blob, Pyro, Toad, uh, or Avalanche are the four different options. We are starting with uh, Blob over here. Now, I'm not sure if it's a scenario where it changes uh, throughout the scenario. I know that sometimes happens, but we're only fighting one at a time. So it's a little different than like Sinister Six or some of these other multi-scenario uh, campaigns. But there's also multiple main schemes. And it seems like they're doing this here a little bit more. Not the multiple main schemes, but where like, you know, you have a very low threshold thing that you can get. So you can't get to like 20 and then thwart it all the way down again. They're having these very low threshold things, but you can lose multiple of them. So in addition to different villains, Mansion also confronts players with four different versions of the main scheme. These four main schemes represent the different parts of the Xavier Institute that are under attack by the Brotherhood. They are shuffled together during the setup, so players never know where the villains will strike. If the villains complete two versions of the scheme, the players lose the game. So again, you got two like minor uh, setup things. So we do get Jubilee um, at the beginning. We're gonna shuffle our future car past cards back in. Gonna uh, get to keep our captives from earlier. So we will have Wolfsbane that we rescued. Uh, find the prisoners defeated in the campaign log. Player takes a random upgrade from their roles setting, which we do have, and reveal surprise attack. 
Alrighty, so let's see where we're at. So surprise attack, one defeated, shuffle the top card of the future past deck. So this is, again, the campaign card. They're all the same. Uh, you shuffle the future past card in, and if you beat it, the next scenario you get one of those cool class-specific cards. Uh, the player who defeated this scheme flips this card and puts reactive defenses into their play area. And again, it usually gives you something good too, which is fun. Like I love the fact that you get something cool here, you get something cool next game but it is gonna throw something pretty nasty in. But if you don't get rid of it, you also have to deal with an extra card. So we're fighting in the courtyard. Each character gets plus one attack. So everybody is plus one to their attack. That's both bad guys, good guys, doesn't matter. Uh, when completed, add this to the victory scheme. If there are ever three main schemes there, and we already have one, cause it's kind of like the setup main scheme. Um, all right, so save the school. After the villain is defeated, if there are X villains in the victory display, which it is two, players win the game. Otherwise, deal each player an encounter card and reveal the next villain. If a minion with the same title as the new villain is engaged, a player will discard that minion. So if you have a minion in play that's called the blob or whatever, you discard it. So he's got toughness, victory two, after the blob attacks and damages a character, stun that character. Oh, Victor's here. Sneaky random stream, and I've arrived just in time. That's right, Victor. Well, you know, these are as much of a surprise to me as they are to you all, so I don't mean to sneak up on you with these streams, but uh, and I do know Steve is streaming tonight, but I had some time. My wife's uh, at it, or not out, she's out of the house with my daughter. My son's doing his own thing, so I was like, you know what? I've got time to play some Marvel Champions, and I am super excited by this campaign so far. Um, Sabretooth, not my favorite scenario, but the next two were very, very fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing what another base defense scenario looks like. All right, let's go ahead and draw up my cards. I guess I should find a seat at the table. Uh, and then I could draw up my hand. All right, so uh, shuffle up again, draw up my six card hand. Uh, tactical brilliance, remove three threat. Well, that seems good for doing this. And choose a tactic in your discard pile. So if I have, ooh, I got an X jet, which seems good. Uh, double energy, wolf's bane, team building exercise. Oh man. All right. As much as I like angel, um, it's only two cost also. So is angel better or, or wolf's bane better? Gains piercing. So that's the only thing different about those two. It looks like three health, two cost, two ones. So, although I doubt I'll be able to get all this stuff done. So you know what, Wolfsbane's going away too. That's it. I'm uh, I'm all in on uh, X Jet or team building. Probably X Jet, but uh, well, actually, team building could help me get X Jet. So maybe I don't even do tactical brilliance. Which, yeah, there's oh, what's this? Until the end of, oh, so this is my um, Peacekeeper card, uh, Hero Action, until the end of the phase, prevent all consequential damage that we take from thwarting. Well, that'll be good later. The last one I got was good early. This one's good later. Uh, another Tactical Brilliance and Magic. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Victor says, school's out for us, for Yom Kippur. Been playing the campaign as Phoenix now that I finished it with Spider-Ham. I love that Spider Ham's like your favorite character, and uh, my daughter's as well. Like Spider Ham is kind of fun, just all around fun. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and pay this two energy for team building. Well, let's go ahead and flip. Oh, no, no, no! First thing, search your deck for a tactic upgrade. Ah, so let's search. I'm gonna search for the one that costs one and does extra damage. I don't think I'm gonna need that my first time through, and honestly. Uh, draw two cards. Well, maybe there's not a lot of allies in this, so I'll go ahead and draw that one. Oops. <coughs> oh, here's the one. Uh, temporarily increase the amount of damage. Minus one attack. You know what? I'll take the minus one attack. Um, because if I don't end up using it, I wouldn't mind putting that on stupid blob. Oh, I had a piercing ally and he's got tough. Well, see, I'm not the smartest person. We all know this. Um, all right, so let's see where we're going. All right, so I'm gonna flip over and I am gonna put, use my energy to do team building exercise. Is he X-Jet? Yes, it is X-Men. So I could use team building to play for X-Jet. Team building in one, two, okay, that works. So that's one, two, three to get X-Jet in. And then I use X-Jet and practiced defense 
to use tactical brilliance, remove four threat or three threat from a scheme, and uh, choose a tactic card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. So that tactic card that I just discarded will be the one that I add back to my hand. Boom, sweet. So we're gonna remove three threat, one, two, three. We are gonna take a future past card. And actually, I'm just gonna write this down now. It's not like I know what they do. Um, so Bastion's Machinations. So let's go ahead and put that here. So that's Bastion's Machinations. All right. So again, not that it matters. I have not defeated one of these the entire campaign for no reason. Uh, just they haven't come out, uh, which is probably a good thing because they're pretty tough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put practice defense on the villain because that makes me happy. Then we are going to plink the tough off with Jubilee. So that's one. Actually, no, we're going to take the threat off of the main scheme with Jubilee because why not? Uh, and then my plinky one attack, we will go ahead and take tough off the villain. Again, not that it matters which order was which, but minus one attack makes me happy and getting out X jet and a team building on turn one also makes me very happy. All right. So I'm going to ready up. I'm going to draw up Ooh, professor X, another tactical brilliance. Wow. Three in the first couple turns, danger room training and another danger room training. Well, certainly don't need those for professor X, but I don't think I can upgrade these characters either. Right. First player. She doesn't count against the ally. Uh, exhaust Jubilee and spend a lightning resource. It doesn't say you can't play attachments or upgrades on her, so I'm going to say you can. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. My voice went there. So I'm going to say you can do that, and unless somebody tells me otherwise, I'm going to assume that I can upgrade Jubilee, which, why not? An extra hit point for Jubilee won't make me sad. Uh, any of these lightning? Nope. Not a lot of lightning resources. Okay. So, first things first, we are going to add threat to the scheme. Oh, Blob's gonna attack me with plus one attack, so that's three attack. Uh, I will defend against that attack. No, I'm not, because I'm probably not gonna block enough damage to make a difference. And I'm gonna get stunned then, so I'll just use my activation to get rid of my stun. So, uh, he's attacking me for two, plus three more, so that would be five. Normally would be plus one, but again, minus one due to this practice defense. So total of five damage, which is not great. And yes, I am stunned. Well, Blob came out swinging, turn one. Uh, by the way, I did have to put a encounter card in play at the beginning of the game. I don't remember why. There's one of these that told me to do that. So I did it. Uh, all right, so we're gonna flip one revealed for uh, each of the following enemies in play. So we got Blob, you are stunned. Well, I was already stunned, good news. For each of the following enemies in play, when revealed, I mean, I, I don't think there's ever supposed to be more than one enemy in play, am I missing something? What is the setup? When revealed, deal each player face down encounter card, ah, advance to the next card in the main scheme. Set up here, put the Save the school environment into play. Shuffle all copies of the main scheme. Stack them under this uh, under this scheme. Shuffle the villains together without looking into a villain deck. The top card is in play. Yeah. So, all right. I guess I just get stunned again. That's all right. Oh. <laughs> See? That's what happens when I do too much being excited about Shadows of the Past. I don't even, wasn't even excited. Never even said anything about it. But turn one, Shadows. Do I have my nemesis set? Ah, here it is. I have not seen this yet, so here we go. Let's see what it is. We got Mr. Sinister here. He's stalwart, tough, and villainous. Ouch. That's a lot of things to be. I'd rather him not be. Uh, so let's put... Oh, 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 I was supposed to get this. Sorry. So, uh, reactivated defenses. Alter Ego action. You can spend all of those resources to deal five damage to each enemy in play and remove this card from the game. Huh. Well, okay. Good to know I have that as an option. Um, all right, so now this is in play though. 
Uh, when defeated, all right, all right, so Mr. Sinister uses mutant genes to enhance his own powers. When defeated, search the encounter deck and discard pile for gene therapy and reveal it. That doesn't sound good. Are these things gene therapy? So, uh, attached to the enemy with the lowest printed attack without a copy of gene therapy. Uh, forced interrupt when attached enemy attacks. The attack games overkill and piercing. At the end of the attack, discard gene therapy. Huh. All right. Well, sure. None of this sounds good. So that means chumpers are at least out for now. Um, and then he's going to add one to the boost of all enemies for now as well. This is not great. Remember when I threw away that piercing uh, ally on turn one? That's coming back to bite me a little bit. Um, stun a minion. Can I stun this? He's stalwart, so no. No stunning. Uh, I could confuse the enemy, which might not be the worst idea. This is... This is a thing. It's all I know. It's a thing. Um, if I get rid of this, well, if I get rid of him, then it doesn't matter. But how am I going to get rid of him? Tactical Brilliance will also let me, or at least help me. Oh, then I can bring a Tactics card out. Oh, yep, this one gets discarded at the end of the enemy phase. <laughs> Victor says, hey, oh, Mr. Sinister time. Yes. Huh. Yeah. So I'm going to do team building to put Professor X in with this double resource here. Let's figure out what we do. Uh, so we can either confuse the villain. Stun well, let me start by attacking to get rid of this. Because maybe I ready myself. Maybe that's the best option. I do attack for two. He'll attack for three. And he'll... Okay. Okay. Yes, so when I put Professor X in, believe it or not, I'm readying myself to get that to attack. Then, I'm going to hold on to Tactical Brilliance. I will spend one of these Danger Room trainings to put the other one on Jubilee over here. So Jubilee is now a 2-2-3. Two, two, uh, I'm sorry, 4 hit points. Oh, this is considered an obligation. I mean, there's nothing negative about it, though. It's just deal 5 damage, which... Seems good. Maybe I put this over here. I don't know that it'll make me more likely to remember it, but oh, I have an X-Jet too. Huh. So I could have used X-Jet instead and held on to, I don't really need that, but I also don't need, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, may as well do it. And then I get to hold on to this at least. Exhaust S-Jet. Generate for an X-Men trait. So I can't do it when I'm on Alter Ego is the negative. All right. Well, I get these two resources. Let's see how this turns out. So Professor X has one attack right now. That'll plink off tough. You have two attack, which will become three. And I have one attack, which becomes two. None of these things are helping me win right now. So I have any way I don't have all the resource types, so I'm not going to trigger this either. So Mr. Sinister is basically going to be here. So maybe I don't ready myself. Instead, I could stun, which I can't, but I could also confuse. So I'm going to confuse the villain. Villain, not stalwart or any of that. All right, so that's going to be final answer, confused. All right, now we're going to have Professor X. We'll have him thwart this away to get rid of that. Then we got to search for gene therapy. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll shuffle this up. So he's got gene therapy, plus two attack, um, overkill piercing and discard it. But I'm flipping down, so that shouldn't matter. And then we will have uh, Jubilee over here. Oh, did I have anything with lightning resource? No. Oh, all right. Well, let me stick with what I originally did then. Because X-Jet can do a wild resource. So I'll do a wild resource to make it a lightning resource. Then Jubilee won't have to even exhaust. So action exhauster and spend a lightning resource to deal two damage to an enemy. All right. So we'll just do that to plink off the tough. There you go. All right. 
I knew I'd get there eventually. Um, yeah, so X-Jet, good for activating Jubilee. That makes me happy. Okay, so I do have a Danger Room training in my hand. Uh, oh, Professor X should have taken a damage there when he attacked. And I am flipping down. I could search for a tactic if I want. But I don't want, so I'm just going to call this turn good. All right, so ready up. I'm going to draw up. I draw five cards. I am going to keep my Danger Room training. And we will see what we get. Victor says, my wife and I laugh every time we use Professor X as a defender before he leaves. Uh, we just imagine him rolling in front of attack. Sorry, Professor. Uh, yeah, no, he's got that, like, you know, that psychic defense or whatever. Actually, I was just watching X-Men First Class the other day, and at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, um, he does jump in front of a bullet there. Um, actually, he doesn't. He's behind. But he gets hit by a bullet anyway. He's defending. We know what happened there. All right, so we are adding one threat here. Then the villain is going to try to scheme but is confused. Then Mr. Sinister is going to try to scheme but is not confused. So we'll add one more. If the villain is Avalanche, give him an additional boost card. It is not Avalanche. It's Mr. Sinister who is villainous, so draws another one. So that is a scheme of two. And then when the attached enemy attacks, which the attached enemy did not do. All right, so let's draw a encounter card. And oh, look, more thwarting to be done. Uh, when defeated... Uh, so this is Nimrod's Patrol. This is a victory one. So we could get rid of this card forever. In player order, each player discards the top two cards of the encounter deck and takes indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons discarded this way. Huh. But if we don't do that, then if we don't get rid of it, then we got to deal with these two. So there's all of that. Field Commander. So that means bad stuff stays on the enemy. Full Blast. Okay. Yep, yep, exploit weakness, increase the amount of damage taken by one. We're not gonna worry about most of this stuff here. Um, okay, well, Professor goes away at the end of the round. We didn't have any attachments on them, so they don't go away. I'm gonna find a tactics card. It's just deck, right? Yep, so I'm gonna search for the one that is draw two cards, which is already in my hand. Attach to an enemy, temporary when attached enemy was defeated. Uh, priority target. Now, let me know if I am wrong. I believe I could have two priority targets on the same enemy and draw four cards at the end of the round. I think that's right. I'm not 100% sure though. Please let me know if I am wrong, but I am pretty sure I can do that. So if I can, guess what? I am going to, um, but I'm gonna go ahead, oops, and heal myself first for three. One, two, three, then I'm gonna flip over. Then I'm putting one, two priority targets on Mr. Sinister. He is a super big deal. He is very much a priority for me, <laughs> obviously. All right, then we are going to do, 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 do. I like Field Commander, but I'm trying to get Beast in. So we'll see how this works out. First things first, I am gonna actually spend Field Commander Um, Victor says, very true. It's my favorite of the X-Men movies. And Mary says, this is surprising. Sorry, Mary. I know. I, I'm not very good lately about uh, letting people know when I'm going to stream. Because honestly, I never know. But I'm going to spend one to do my optical blast on Mr. Sinister. And then I'm going to spend another one, exploit weakness over here, to do a uh, full blast. Uh, or I'll keep field commander. I'll do full bat blast and I'll do danger room training is the two I spend. All right. So that does three damage here plus another eight. This attack deals eight additional damage and gains overkill. All of which seems good. I'm going to keep these two cards in my hand. So eight plus three is 11. Mr. Sinister has six life. So that is five overkill. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So now I'm going to draw two, four cards. As far as I know, I can do that. Again, nobody's told me otherwise. Um, so I think I can put both of those priority targets on there. <laughs> Victor says Ninja Peter Stream. Yes. Well, again, 
I, I've been famous for that lately, I guess. Uh, if, if I'm famous for anything, it's for not telling people when I'm doing stuff. Uh, <laughs> including Steve, who has no idea I'm streaming today. But that's all right. Victor says, oh yeah, Peter, you can't duplicate those tactics on a villain. All right, so I lied. Uh, that's okay. I'll take one of these back, and then these were the last two cards that I draw. Thank you, Victor. You can't. Sorry. Yes, yes, I got it. Can't. Got it. Got it. I didn't. I'm done. I'm undoing my cheatingness. Uh, okay. So, but I am going to put in Beast. After Beast enters play, search your deck and discard pile for a resource card and add it to your hand. Well, that seems good. So I'm going to go ahead and spend this uh, and this double resource here and this priority target, which clearly I can't spend uh, or uh, have a second one on to play Beast. And then I'm going to search my discard pile for a double resource. We'll take energy because it doesn't matter. And now I have a double resource. Um, yes. So I'm going to spend this double resource because it doesn't matter on danger room training. So the beast is also danger room did it it up, um, which seems not terrible till the end of the phase prevent all consequential damage from thwarting. I mean, this might be a big thwart turn. We'll see. I have two to get rid of here. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're going to spend this card this turn. My allies will not take consequential damage from thwarting this turn. Um, and Jubilee will go ahead and thwart for two and get rid of this stupid thing. But then I got to take two cards of consequential damage. So that's one, two, three total damage uh, equal to the number of boost icons. So this is gone, but I have also just taken three damage, but this is in the victory display, which should be over here. Well, we'll, we'll do it over here. Okay, so then, uh, oh, I can't use Jubilee's thing anyway, so we'll just use X-Jet to pay for Field Commander, and now I am a Field Commander, which means I will always go first in the solo game, uh, but also that those upgrades stay on the uh, uh, minions, so which is good. Maybe. I don't know that it'll matter, honestly. <laughs> so we got three more thwarting over here because of the danger room training so we'll go ahead and thwart for three off of the main because we're not taking consequential damage this turn seems like a good turn to thwart plus i just got punched in the face a lot so that also makes it a good turn to thwart all right well that is that turn i'm going to go ahead and ready up and draw up and ooh, a couple of ricochet beams i got colossus i got another team building exercise which i don't know that i'm going to play uh, oh, an enemy gets minus one attack, so that's good. All right, but first things first, we're going to add... Oh, I keep forgetting to do the extra damage from the location. I didn't forget it for them, but definitely when I did my laser beam, does that count as two separate sources of damage or it say do eight more damage? That's really the only other attack that's happened. So let's see. When you use your Cyclops Optic Blast, this attack deals eight additional damage. So... I actually should have dealt one additional damage there because of the environment we're in. So one more damage to the blob. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so ready up draw. We added one threat, blob is attacking. Blob is attacking for three. I am gonna go ahead and defend this time. So attacking for three, I defend two of that plus three more. So it would be six minus my two, wait. Yes, because of the plus one for this. So six minus my two is four. One, two, three, four. I am also not tough. I am stunned. I mean, I am tough, let's be honest. But unfortunately, not in this case. That doesn't help me. I am stunned. Okay. Do, 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 do. All of that is done. Now we get an encounter card. Immovable. When revealed, Blob activates against you. If he is not in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the Blob minion and reveal him. Huh. So Blob's going to attack again. I guess Beast is just going to face tank this for me because I can't afford... I mean, I could lose Jubilee, but 
seems like they want me to keep her in the campaign, so I'm going to defend with blah or with beast. So attacking for three plus another three, that's six more. Yeah, that would have been the death of me a lot. Instead is the death of beast a lot, which doesn't make me happy. Blob, you're pissing me off. Making me angry, Blobby. Making me angry. All right, but that is their turn. It is back to my turn. Got a couple of these ricochet beams. Deal three damage to an enemy and three again to an enemy with an upgrade attached. So what does this say? Each character gets plus one attack. So does that mean attack to your stats? Because if that's, because it says each character. So actually I don't think I do that extra damage because it says plus one attack. It doesn't say plus one to your attacks. It says plus one attack, which is the stat. Okay, so shooting my beam does not do anything. Using this ricochet beam, excuse me, also does not do anything. Deal three damage to an enemy with an upgrade. All right, so it can be the same enemy. It does not say that it can't be. So guess what? We are attaching this to you. Then I gotta figure this out. Um, I think I want Colossus in, right? Reduce the cost by one. So it would, he would only cost me three. So I could do one, two, three, to play Colossus, uh, three attack and tough. I'm gonna use that tough to chump, gotta be honest, on this first turn because I'm not happy with the way this is going. I'm tired of being stunned, I'm tired of being hurt i'm tired of being all that beat up knocked down dragged around <laughs> victor says that was a wise block yes it, it definitely turned out to be that way all right so we're gonna have jubilee here use her action um exhaust jubilee spend a lightning resource to deal two damage to an enemy boom 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 one two damage all right so now i got this stun next turn i can get rid of it and i will hold on to this ricochet beam to ricochet and in fact, I don't need to put practical defense on Blob either because I'm blocking with Colossus here. So I am not going to do that. I'm going to hold on to practice defense and ricochet beam. So that way I will definitely get some extra damage next turn. All right. So I'm just going to ready up. I'm going to draw up. I only draw three cards because I'm holding two. Yes, I keep going back on my moves. Sorry about that. I am uh, I'm sorry, not sorry. All right. One there, Blobby is attacking, uh, and Colossus will defend. So that is two attack plus zero. Of course, it's plus zero uh, when it's getting rid of just a tough. And now let's see what Blob does here. Homo Superior, attach to the minion and give it the tough status card. Otherwise, this card gains surge. Well, there is no minion to attach to, so let's surge. Infiltration Shapeshifter. Shuffled into your deck. After this card enters your hand, discard an ally or support you control. You may discard this card from your hand. Yeah. Ah, I should probably make it the right size. So as all of you know, I do the five shuffle trick, which means I shuffle five times so I don't have any control. One, two, three, four, five. So if it would have ended up on top, I wouldn't have... Uh... All right. So we are done with the enemy turn, back to my turn. Well, I don't see a reason not to put Helicarrier into play when I got a free resource here. Unfortunately, it's shield location. Uh, so rapid response is probably going away, which is a little bit of a shame, but whatever. All right, one, two, three for rapid response to put, oh, no, no, no. Yes. Well, I still got these extra cards in my hand. Oh, no, 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 because I got a resource here. I got this here. All right. Yes. So I'm going to then attack to get rid of my stun. Then I'm going to put this upgrade on the enemy. Upgrade on the enemy. Uh, they have minus one attack. So I'm going to use Helicarrier and X-Jet to pay for Ricochet Beam, which does three and then three again for a total of six damage. One, two, three. One, two, three. I mean... That seems good. I got nothing to complain about there. Wait a minute. All right, Victor. Didn't realize it at first, but it looks like you can double hit 
one target with an upgrade. Oh, you're talking about uh, Ricochet Beam. Yeah, it doesn't say that you can't. So yes, I believe that you can. I thought you were saying I could double upgrade somebody with the same upgrade. I was like, what? All right, so I'm gonna ready up. Team building was wasted. Jubilee was wasted. Um, you know what? Do I just, I'm gonna punch Blob, actually. I'm not readying up and drawing up yet. I'm gonna punch with Jubilee. Jubilee has two attack now because of this uh, danger room upgrade. Plus, she every character gets plus one attack for this location. So we're just gonna defeat Blob here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So Blobby is done. Now we got a, another tough villain, Pyro over here. And tough victory two, that stuff doesn't matter. Practical or practice defense, that's gone. This might be a mistake, we will see. Uh, force response, after Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one indirect damage for each printed resource icon so I don't think you could block this. I don't see why you would be able to. So now seeing that is the case, I think I'm gonna flip down. So he does have an attack of one, but that's after the attack. I'm gonna have to pay, take damage equal to the printed resource cost. Yeah, no, I'm all good. I'm gonna flip down. That seems like the wise move here and call it a day. Um, all right, so I'm done, but I am halfway to victory. Let's go ahead and draw six cards now and hope for a blasty blasty beam Exploit weakness seems good. I Mean that might be the answer just exploit weakness and just blast the heck out of them Heal one damage for a mutant or x-men. All right. Well, we'll see So first things first we had one threat then we're gonna scheme with pyro for two which is about to pop this I think oh, yeah, so four one two three four this one has one completed. Add the scheme to the victory display. Advance to the next main scheme. This one says one revealed. Flip this card. And we are now fighting in the atrium. Each character gains steady. If you steady, come and get it. Na 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 na. That would have been nice when I was fighting against stupid Blobby. I would like to be steady. Um, when completed, add this. Yep. If there are three main schemes. Yep. So we lose if we lose this. Um, is the bottom line here. So hopefully not an advance here, although, you know, whatever. It's fine. Even with an advance, we got some time, I think. But let's draw this card. And no, oh, worse than an advance. Uh, hinder two, so this has got four on it. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme searches their deck and discard pile for an ally and adds it to their hand. Protect the students. I mean, adding an ally to your hand is not bad. I would rather add one... After Phoenix enters play, choose a Cyclops card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. Okay, not going to complain about that. All right, so first things first. Um, na, 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 na. Uh, oh, I can do my blast. I can have my blast. That seems good. This might be a quick game for Pyro. Uh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so let's grab a... This is only for my deck, right? Upgrade and add it to your hand. Search your deck for an upgrade. Let's hope I have one. Because again, it's just more resources at this point. I do not have a tactics upgrade that's an item upgrade. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't think it's gonna matter, um, but let's go ahead and flip over. I need to do as much damage as possible so let's see. I'm going to start by doing one damage myself to take off the tough. Because I don't think my beam gets piercing. Okay. Then I am going to put in Phoenix. Phoenix. And she gets plus one attack and thwart if I pay for her with this. So that's one, two, three with team building to put Phoenix into play. Enter play, choose a card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. Yes. So let's search for that Blasty Blast card. Where is it? Where are you, Blasty Blast card? I want to blast you. Exploit weakness, no. No, although exploit weakness would be a decent one, but not as decent as doing eight extra damage. I really need to get to know the names of these cards, especially when talking to Terrence. Terrence is always like, yeah, this card, full blast. That's what it is. 
I'm going to take Folk Blast into my hand when I play Phoenix, because that seems good. Then I'm going to Exploit Weakness. Oh, I already have an Exploit Weakness in my hand. Huh. So there's that. So I'm going to spend R&D Facility to put Exploit Weakness on him and increase the amount of damage each enemy takes from each attack. All right. So let's start with Phoenix because I just put her into play and I want to remember that I used that card that gives her plus one to her stats. So she has three attack now. So that's actually going to be four attack. Seems good. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I defeated it. 14 hit points. Sorry. So four attack gets it down to 10. We are then having Colossus attack. He does take two consequential damage for, taking, for doing an attack, but he attacks for three, which also becomes four. One, two, three, four. All right. Then we will have Jubilee attack. She's attacking for two with this danger room training. Two plus uh, another one is three. One, two, three. And I can attack with my beam. So I have to discard a resource to do that. So we'll discard this. And then we'll discard this to play for full blast. When you use your optic blast ability, it gets plus eight and overkill. So that is it would normally do three. Now it does 11, plenty enough to kill Pyro, which boom, 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 means victory. All right, so I gotta be honest, none of these missions have been over long except for the first one. So I am liking that about these missions. They've kind of gone away from the super long missions in the earlier campaigns. Um, so yeah, that, that makes me happy. But let's go ahead and play through the last scenario. Let's do the cleanup steps. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is uh, Nimrod's portal is leaving. So let's do that. Nimrod's portal is gone from the campaign now. Uh, all right, victory. If surprise attack, side scheme was defeated, record this in the campaign log. Yes, it was. All right, then remove each future pass card in the victory display from the campaign. Each future pass card found in the encounter deck and discard pile and in play to the campaign log. Yep, those are all right. I mean, Nimrod's portal is not going to be there, but I'm just deleting that now. Boom, boom, boom. So we don't got to think about it. Then remove each roll's upgrade that began the game from the campaign. Yep, that's this one. Uh, rescue operation. I don't even know I put that there, but whatever. can't see it anyway because it's like a line down I don't even know how you can get down there or you can that's fine nobody needs to know that all right so rescue operation we're just gonna delete that'll be the easiest way to do it here okay um, and if Jubilee is in play record that in the campaign log otherwise remove that she is not she is in play boom all right so we are done let's get on with this story and keep going uh, I like that you melted his face at the end there, says Angry Man. <laughs> Thank you, Angry Man. That does seem very angry. <laughs> uh, Victor says, crushed it. Yes, yes. I, I do like melting people's faces. All right. You might not be angry. Maybe I am. You're not angry. I'm angry. Um, this stinks. Who is that in there that's saying this stinks? Uh, I can't zoom in enough to see who that is. You attacked our home. Now, did you think, or now, what did you think would happen in the end? What do we do with the, our prisoners? That's a problem for later. Right now we have to stop Magneto. Oh, that's Toad, I think. That is Toad. Uh, right now we have to stop Magneto from reactivating Master Mold. I've modified the Blackbird for low orbital flight. She'll take you to Asteroid M. This is it, everybody on board. That is such a cool looking ship. Uh, Yeehaw! Uh, Forge did us proud, ah, Remy. Je ne sais pas, chérie. This Cajun don't like space rides. <laughs> I don't know where what the accent went at the end there. I, I did my French, but I, I lost it at the end. Uh, uh, there it is, X-Men. Prepare to board. So now he attacked our home base. Guess what, Magneto? Now we're attacking your home base. All right, so let me save this the best way I know how, which is I need to take Jubilee. Put her over here to make sure I have her available. I doubt I'm going to get Magneto ally again for the last one, but that's okay. I am going to take 
this campaign bombardment thing that I never even used, surprise attack. And I'll put that at the bottom of the stack just because in case we need it for later. I doubt we will, but that's okay. We got Magneto's Fortress on top, which is what we want. And then I'm going to take these Nimrod cards out. Um, so I'm going to search first for Nimrod. Oh, there's only one Nimrod. That's right. Uh, so what are my other cards I need to find? Uh, Nano and Bastion. So I'm going to search for Nano and Bastion. All right. So let me gather these up. Flip them over. All right, so I got all the stuff from the campaign here that I want to save. Let's go ahead and highlight all of that. See, we're doing some TTS tutorials here as well. Uh, and then I'm going to save object. I'm going to save it as mutant uh, genesis campaign log. So that's fine. So all that stuff should be saved. Now we're going to go to games. We are going to start a new game. Victor says, uh, lots of laugh, gimmick, impression, did not disappoint. Yeah, I don't know. That, that, that wasn't my best moment. I got to be honest. <laughs> it was not my best. So saved objects. We got mutant genesis campaign long log. So that's all that stuff that I just did there should be right here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Um, so now let's get ready for this last mission, shall we? Uh, so do, 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 do. Magneto set his Brotherhood of Mutants against Xavier's school in order to draw the X-Men away while he escaped with Master Mold. The Master of Magnetism used that time to install Master Mold into his orbital fortress, Asteroid M. Now safely out of the reach of the world's governments, Magneto begins to reprogram the Sentinel factory to create type M or new M-type Sentinels, human hunting robots. Once complete, he will stop, uh, drop his Sentinels into the planet below clearing away human resistance and bringing about his dream of mutant domination over the world. Back in the X-Mansion, the mutant forge finishes making upgrades to X-Men's supersonic jet, the X-Jet, enabling it to escape Earth's gravity and reach asteroid M. Professor X wishes his team luck as they blast off to confront his old friend and deadliest foe. Alrighty, let's do this. All right, so first things first, let's place our villain, which is clearly going to be Magneto. Right, we are not doing expert, we are doing standard. Then we can recall these, we can place our modulars. All right, I'm gonna delete these. These are standard cards with like, I mean, they do a great job in the mod of making them look different, but when I'm, uh, if I'm playing on my own, I don't mind doing it, but I like to see like, and be able to tell what's going on pretty quickly here. All right, so steady and tough, great. At least it's not um, the other one, um, stalwart. So steady means we can stun and confuse, it just takes a little more effort. All right, so let's see, setup, or, or no. So expert mode, magneto and standard set, or magneto and standard sets, we got that. One modular. Acolyte. So let's go ahead and get Acolyte, which is no, 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 Acolyte. Place those, and then let's see what this says. Um, do, 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 do. All right, set up, search for future, uh, future past card record in the campaign log in counter deck shuffle the remaining cards from the future past deck and set it aside so that was in english but basically put these cards from missions that we have not yet defeated to get them in their victory display shuffle them in that's what it says at the beginning of every mission if jubilee is in the campaign log put her into play yes she is so that's why i keep her over here see i wasn't doing that at first and that was a shame oh I am sitting here, but I got to change that to Cyclops, got to change this, and now I've got space for Jubilee. By the way, I don't have my deck or anything else yet. I will get that in a minute, I promise. 
Um, all right, each captive ally recorded in the campaign log may be shuffled into a player's deck. I forgot to do that. Forgot to take out, what is it, Wolfsbane? That's from scenario two. Okay, so let's do villains. Scenario two is here. Let's find Wolfsbane if we can. There we go. Wolfsbane. All right, so that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought. Um, no, I do not have to put this back. I could just delete it, do whatever I want, but I am a neat and tidy person. Not really, but <laughs> all right. So that will get shuffled into my deck, which will end up over here. All right. So almost forgot about that. Um, if surprise attack defeated, check from the campaign log. T player takes a random upgrade from their rolls cards, puts it into play under their control. Each player may roll build. I'm not going to do that. Reveal Magneto's Fortress side scheme. And then we just go. All right, so this is the last of my cards. I'm not going to quite read it yet because I still got to get my deck. Uh, and then we're going to put this into play. Oh, huh, look at that. There's already something else, a boarding party in play. Uh, so this is going to get two. Magneto has fortified his asteroid security in anticipation of the assault. When defeated, shuffle the cards from the future past deck into the encounter deck and flip this card. This doesn't tell us if it's good or bad this time. Normally, you could tell if it's good or bad. That doesn't make me happy. Uh, I have not played this campaign, just for anybody who doesn't know and, and is watching for the first time. To stop Magneto's nefarious plan, you must first uh, board Asteroid M. Magneto can't have more than six per player sustained damage. Wait, what? When defeated, flip this card and reveal Sabotage Master Mold. So wait, what? <laughs> Magneto cannot have more than six per player sustained damage. So you can't hurt him more than six uh, while this card is in play. You can't have more than six damage counters on him, I guess. Uh, so set up, set the orbital decay side scheme aside, reveal the boarding party side scheme. Ah, here's orbital decay. Magneto is an indomitable foe. I'm not going to read it yet. All right. Sure. Force response. After you place a magnet counter on this scheme, if there are at least three magnet counters, so I'm assuming we're going to need one of these bad boys. Let's go ahead and start it at zero. Uh, if there are three magnet counters here, discard cards from the encounter deck until a magnetic card is discarded. Reveal that card. Remove three magnet counters from the scheme. So after you place a magnet counter on this scheme, all right, so it doesn't start with any. You just do it as it goes on. For response, after Magneto attacks, place one magnet counter on the main scheme. There you go. So after he attacks, it does not matter whether he, um, doesn't matter whether he damages or anything. All right, so we've got all that. I should probably have a deck, uh, which I don't yet. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, I'm going to copy the name of my deck, and let's go ahead and I will paste it in here. It is a private deck. I will build it. I should have imported to the playmat. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Let's lock this in. way -oh. Take Cyclops, put Cyclops, oops, what is that? Well, that's my obligation. All right. We got Mr. Sinister. Hopefully we don't got to see him again. We got Cyclops over here. Let's make Cyclops bigger. Put Cyclops over here. That's too big. Somewhere in the middle would have been better. Flip that over. All right, 40 card deck. Plus the one extra ally I got over here. Let's shuffle that up. And we will see what this does. Four to two, generate two resources for a tactic or thwart event. Stun an enemy, remove this card from the game. So two for a tactic or thwart, which is good because I'm captain tactic, uh, thwart uh, and stun the enemy, which is not great because he is steady. Not stalwart though, so. Really I'm looking for the two resources on that one it looks like. Okay, we're shuffled up and we're gonna draw our first six card and let's get this party started. Practical defense. Deal three damage and three again. Storm. Hmm. Let's 
Storm is interesting because I can move some thread around. Helicarrier is good with a double resource. That's good. Danger room training. <sighs> Ricochet beam, while good, I don't necessarily need it. Team one, although reveal master mold. I mean, I can do some damage, so I'm not going to worry about this quite yet. I definitely think I want to get rid of that, but I don't even know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get rid of Ricochet Beam. I'm going to keep the minus one attack. I am going to get rid of Storm over here. I'm going to hold on to Helicarrier. All right. Draw two more cards. Phoenix makes me happy. Exploit weakness. All right. So I'm going to search for the when defeated card. I forget what it's called. Draw two cards. Priority target. That's what it's called. I remember now. All right, so that gives me a seventh card to start with, and then let's flip over. Okay, so I'm gonna spend one, two, and priority target three to put the Helicarrier in. Seems good on turn one. Um, one, two, three to put Phoenix in. Search for a, all right. And put it where? Add it to your hand. Do I have any? Ah, ricochet beam. I'll add that one. All right, so spend these two resources. To add ricochet beam to my hand, we will exploit weakness over here, or practice defense, I'm sorry, over here. All right, so I've got two thwarting so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna thwart this and see what happens this can't be good right so take the last future pass card shuffle it in can't be good i can't nothing good can come of this magnetism power attached to magneto permanent great yeah yeah that was that was not great by the way in case anyone was wondering what's not great, that was not great. All right, we're going to have Jubilee poke off this tough. I knew when it didn't say what was on the back that it had to be something bad. So guess what? You don't have to get rid of that turn one. By the way, probably smart not to. So we got Phoenix with two thwart or two attack here. We are going to have Phoenix attack for two. And then I'm going to use my optical beam by discarding this uh, ricochet beam to use my optical beam because he does have an upgrade on him to do three more. So I've done five total. I can't do more than six before I get rid of this thing. Victor says, I was going to warn you, but I know you don't like spoilers. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I'm spoiled now. Spoiled right to my face. That's okay. It's fine. I got magic. Magic will help me, I hope. Uh, anyway, all right, we got one here. Magneto's gonna attack for three because of the stupid permanent upgrade card. Ah, minus one, so only two. And let's see what happens. Two plus, if this is an attack that defeats an ally, place one magnet counter on the main scheme. It is not, but it does do three to me. Um, so when does this, after Magneto attacks, place one of these. So what are these magnet cards? Oh, well, there's a magnetic card right there. So good to know. All right, um, I will figure out what that stuff is now. Ooh, wait a minute, for tactic or thwart. So this is a thwart card, so there you go. So I can use this to pay for it. Stun an enemy, why not? I mean, oh, yes, because I do have stuff to pay for. I, I can pay for magic. All right. All of that seems good. I've got stuff to do next turn. Uh, but I do need to take an encounter card. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, Fabina, or Fabian Cortez. 1-1-4, one, one, Teamwork, Acolyte, Villainous. I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> when defeated... The player who defeated Fabian Cortez discards cards from the encounter deck until an Acolyte minion is discarded, then puts that minion into play engaged with them. So an Acolyte minion is discarded. 
So teamwork acolyte must teamwork might be a new word for like search for an acolyte. Villainous, I do understand. He's going to draw um, cards. Let me see. Do they talk about teamwork in this race against Magneto or will display? Yeah, I've never seen that teamwork acolyte in the enemy cards before. I assume it's just what it says below, which is search for an acolyte. I don't know. Um, if anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. Is that going to be a new keyword that's in the rules? I don't have my rule books upstairs. I mean, I've got the rules here. Let me look at it. So this is page 19. Let's scroll back to the beginning and see if they talk about that keyword. Because I have not seen that before. There's role building, persistent damage. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Teamwork trait. Here we go. After a minion with teamwork enters play and engages a player, if there's at least one other minion that shares a specific trait in play, each minion that shares the teamwork keyword of the same specific trait activates against the player it engaged with. Ow! Okay. So that's good to know. So if I had had another acolyte in play, they would have activated against me immediately. That new ac or the, the old acolyte would have. All right. Well, so that's pretty nasty. All right. This campaign went from fairly straightforward and easy to not straightforward and easy. Um, yeah. So they, th there's that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. End of the enemy phase. We're discarding that. We've got this villain to deal with here. <coughs> huh. How do I want to do this? Maybe I flip down. Can I attach tactics? Is that like only hero action I can take? That I do it. So let me look. I got my Cyclops stuff here. So tactics cards. All right, it doesn't frequently ask. If field commander work in multiplayer game, field commander causes Cyclops to take his turn, turns first. Yeah, I know how that works. Stalwart team up temporary villainous. I think I can add tactics actions. I can't blast on the other side, but I think I can spend tactics cards from the other side. The reason I'm asking specifically is I'm thinking about uh, going and searching for the tactic that lets me draw two cards. Um, th that is why I'm asking. All right, so let's do this though. I'm gonna generate two for, for, uh, for a tactic or thwart event, stun an enemy and remove this card from the game, campaign pool. All right, so this is gone. Victor says, yeah, that's mean. I almost lost from that. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, that's a thing. And in fact, speaking of almost losing, I should have done this earlier. It's a little bit into the game, but I'm going to save this just in case I do lose here. So I got a chance to redeem myself, um, although I'm a little bit into this game. We'll, we'll see how I uh, undo that later. We'll figure it out. Hopefully not an issue. Let's start with that. Okay. So, um, why doesn't Phoenix have damage on her? She did attack last turn, right? So she should have a damage on her. Okay. So, or did she not? Did I forget to use her last turn? I don't think so. I think I used her. That's fine. All right. So I use that card to play Tactical Brilliance. Remove three threat from a scheme. Choose a tactic card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. All right, I'll just add this to my hand. This is not going to go swimmingly because I'm removing these three and we'll see what terribleness. Flip this card and reveal Sabotage Master. Ah, all right. So it's just a three threat scheme. Magneto cannot have more than 12 sustained damage. When defeated, reveal the set aside orbital decay scheme and add this card to the victory display. Master Mold has been reprogrammed. You must take it offline before you can create a human hunting sentinel. 
Yeah, I don't want a human hunting sentinel. That is for darn sure. All right. So I'm going to spend one, two, three to put magic into play. Magic gets plus one to their stats because I paid effective leadership to play magic. So magic's now three attack, two thwart. Is this a non-elite? It is an elite. Never mind. Oh, I'm not playing magic yet. I want to take that one out before I do that. So actually, I'm undoing all that. Sorry. I want to do that though in a second. That is going to be done. I'm going to put practice defense on here and then shoot him with my optical beam. So that does three damage over here. And then I'm going to flip over. Oops. Oh, I haven't done anything. Do I want to thwart? Yeah, I'll thwart two. Let's go ahead and thwart two, one, two. Now I'm going to flip over. I'm going to use my action to search for, oh, I'm going to need, that didn't work out the way I thought it would. I was saving magic to go in and then spend that mental resource. Oh, but I could just do that. I don't need to draw the two cards. Although those two cards might draw me into a mental resource. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do priority target and pray. That this works. All right. Attached to an enemy. Where does it say you can only have one of each attached to an enemy? Tactic. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Where does it say you can only have one? Victor, where did you find out that information? Like, am I allowed to also put priority target on here? Like, I don't see anywhere that says max one per enemy. There it is. Never mind. Attached to an enemy, max one. Got it. Per enemy. Yeah, it's right there, right in front of your face. Dum dum. I am dum dum Dugan. All right, so we're going to attack with Jubilee to do that last point of damage. So this gets defeated. I get both of these back and I get to draw two cards. Come on, one of them be mental. All right, Wolfsbane. Close enough to mental. Yes, Victor says on the card itself, dummy. He didn't say dummy. I just added that for uh, dramatic effect. Okay. So, all right, I got to do this. One defeated, the player defeated it. Discard cards from the encounter deck until an acolyte minion is discarded. Well, there you go. That wasn't very far. Then puts that minion into play, engage with them. All right, so I have this acolyte here, teamwork acolyte toughness. So this is a tough, but this is not elite. Key, not elite. When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. If the villain already has a tough status card, heal four damage from them. Okay, but here's the key. So I'm putting magic in. I'm spending helicarrier. Doesn't say, has to be hero action. I'm gonna play practice defense and I am playing effective leadership. So this one gives plus one to my stats. But after you play magic from your hand, spend a mental resource. Wolfsbane is a wild resource. So that counts as a mental resource to choose a non-elite minion engaged with an X-Man hero and shuffle that minion into the encounter deck. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye, Uniscone. Whatever your name is, you are out of here. Boom. And magic gets plus to their stats right now. That wasn't defeated, so I don't think I add tough to the villain either, which seems good. So now magic is going to attack for three, because again, the turn I play magic with that one resource gets plus one to the stats. So one, two, three. So again, hit points 18. I can only do. 12 so I could get it down to six not down to six yet so I am good I'm gonna hold on to ricochet beam for a couple of reasons number one is it's three damage and then three again if I get an upgrade or it's also a lightning resource which can activate Jubilee's ability to just poke for two damage as well um, so I'm gonna hold it lightning resource seems good right now we still have Phoenix 
she will uh, thwart for two, maybe? I feel like that's right. We'll go ahead and thwart for two over here. And then we can get this orbital uh, display, which will let me, I believe, looks like kills. All right, so this is one of those, it's interesting because you're not going through different areas, but you kind of are with these sabotage things. Um, so far, they haven't added anything bad, so that's good. I guess I should read this. Uh, oh, yeah, I did read it. All righty. So Victor liked that. He said, ha-ha, bye-bye. I think when I uh, played Magic to... Uh, to discard that villain that was the plan i just had to think it through all right so let's ready up and draw up i'm gonna draw four cards here team building professor x beast and tactical brilliance i like all of those cards so let's go over here and see what happens after magneto attacks you place a magnet counter not after he thwarts so he is going to scheme for two three plus zero which is good I just realized I was about to lose Asteroid M, uh, which not great. From zero to lost in one activations, I just got super lucky there that that did not happen, in fact. All right. Sentinel Tech. Victory one. Ah, so this is a future pass card. Nano Sentinel Tech. Attached minion gets plus four hit points and gains the Sentinel trait when revealed. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a set aside area for your nemesis minion. Put it into play, engage with you, and attach this card to it. Okay. Hey, remember Mr. Sinister? He's back. Um, Nemesis minion, put it into play, engage with you, and attach this card to it. So, plus four hit points and sentinel. He's also tough, stalwart, and villainous. As if... He needed more. So 10 hit points over there. All right. So all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm not as happy with what is going on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty stinking terrible. I don't know why I only have five cards in my hand, though. I should have drawn to six. Ah, X-Jet. All right. So that's a thing. <sighs> Do I just team building an X-Jet this turn and, like, just build up? Beast. Well, Beast gives me a double resource, which seems good. Ricochet Beam also seems good, because that would be six damage here. Beast isn't... Ah. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway. Let's go in and search for a tactic. If I still have one in here. Which I don't. I don't think. Full Blast is not an upgrade tactic, I wish. Oh, upgrade tactic. Exploit weakness. I did have one. All right, so let me go ahead and draw this. Let's shuffle this up. So I get seven cards in my hand. I should be able to do something. All right, I'm flipping over. Maybe should have healed, but I don't know. So the benefit of Beast is Beast gives me a double resource card. Which seems good. So I'm going to spend one... two to put team building exercise in then I spend one two three four to put beast in so now I get a double resource doesn't help me get X jet in this turn but it will next turn. Wait, where do I search? Oh, I'll just search my discard pile. Search. And maybe actually I just take a double lightning resource and that way I can blast for two. Um, why is this the only cards in? Oh, because I still have 18 cards in my deck. Do I really not have a double resource? Oh, I have double strength here. And I got power in all of us, which is also a resource card, but here's a strength card, okay. So I draw that. Unfortunately, still can't play X-Jet. Maybe I could have played that in a different order? I don't think so, though. I don't think there was a way to do it. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to use Jubilee this turn. 
Victor says, at least you're not playing Phoenix. I'll take Mr. Sinister over Dark Phoenix. Yes. Any day of the week. Yes, yes, and more yes. <sighs> All right. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. 10 life. I can do 2, 4, 6. If I kill Jubilee, 7. It's just not enough. So, do I just worry about the threat then and just leave Mr. Sinister? I think that's the call. All right, so I'm going to spend myself, exhaust myself, to remove two threat from the main scheme. Then, oh, 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 it's magic. Um, Beast will go ahead and exhaust to take two more off the main scheme. Does magic poke this tough off? I mean, why not, right? That's what allies are for, to poke the tough off. That's what allies are for, to get punched in the face. All right. That is that. Not everything that I was hoping or dreaming for, but it's a thing. All right, I'm going to draw five cards. I don't draw five cards because I have two. So these last two go back. One of them was full auto, which makes me very sad because that would have been very nice or full laser or whatever the heck it is. Danger room training, rapid response, mansion, mansion X. Lots of options here. Okay. First things first, we had a threat. Then Magneto attacks me. Afterward, he's going to add a counter. He's attacks me for three. I'm going to use Phoenix. I'm going to use magic to block. I think I have enough cards, yeah. So I'm using magic to block. So three damage plus star, give Magneto the tough status card and a face down boost card. Okay, so there's another boost card for next time Magneto activates, which means make sure you have another ally. That's what, I, what, I, what I'm reading into this. So uh, Mr. Sinister is gonna attack me for one plus a boost. I'm just gonna take this one and one more. So that's two damage. All right, Mr. Sinister, can you smell what the rock's cooking? I don't, I don't know what the rock's cooking. Um, okay, <laughs> guard, five life, two, two, when defeated, give Magneto the tough status card. Wow, how many toughs can Magneto have? Actually, he has zero right now. He should have had tough though. All right, um, okay, uh, yeah, that's, that's another thing to think about in a minute. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental X jet to mess you up. After an ally you control is defeated, discard it to put that ally from your discard pile into play, dealing damage to it. So I could do that with Phoenix to bring Phoenix back in. So X jet, I can use team building for can use this for and I will use mansion X for so there we go now I've got a jet so I got a double resource I will spend on rapid response I am going to attack mr. sinister with Phoenix so that does two damage and then I'm gonna rapid response Phoenix back in. What does it say? After an ally control is defeated, discard rapid response, put that ally into play from the discard pile and deal a damage to it. So Phoenix is back with one damage. Then I'm gonna do X jet to put this on Phoenix. So now Phoenix has three attack. So that's three more up to five ah <sighs> no all right never mind leaving that at two three over here to the sentinel two more over there to the sentinel for a total of five and then um when defeated give magneto tough magneto is already tough magneto doesn't need any more toughs thank you very much 
<sighs> so what do I do with me? I just thwart this thing away. All right, I'm looking ahead because forget that. Magneto can't have more. All right, so that's it. I don't need to thwart this one, I don't think. Although, if he gets an advance, he'll probably flip it anyway. I'm gonna thwart the main. All right, so I think that's everything. I mean, I'm built up here. I just need a really big attack. I need that optical beam, whatever. Of course, I also need a tactics card to be able to, to trigger that. Yeah, so there's all that. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the five cards and see what's happening. Oh, the first time I've seen this Ruby uh, stupid visor in like forever. Full blast, but I don't have a tactics card. I was thinking about flipping down too. That's the worst part of all this. Oh, oh, this is, all right. I do have rapid response against though. So, I mean, two, two either way. I do want Phoenix in my discard at some point to draw her back. I guess I don't care as much about Beast. Okay, let's go from the top. One attack, then attacking me I am going to, well, Phoenix still has two uses. So I'm gonna block with Beast. So Beast is blocking this attack, gets two boost cards, because it had one sitting in front of him. Two, two, so that's a total of four plus the three, that is seven total damage. Uh, stun doesn't matter at this point. So seven damage to Beast, ouch. Then I'm gonna get attacked by Mr. Sinister, who is villainous, so that's one attack plus another two is a total of three damage. Ow. I do have Jubilee here that I could do stuff with too if I really need to. Uh, all right, then I'm taking a card. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. Huh. I'm gonna get rid of Danger Room Training. That is an upgrade I control. Definitely don't wanna get rid of any of those. So there is that. Okay. Whew. All right, this is uh, this is a little little interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on over here. Full blast without a tactic card. Ugh. All right, well, I am putting my Ruby Quartz visor in. That's step one. Then we are going to, wait, is this? No, that's an item. Tactical Brilliance to remove three threat. Well, I don't really need that. I don't really need that. Um, so rapid response just seems better at this point. So one, two to put rapid response in. Um, we will have Phoenix attack for two puts them up to four go away I rapid response her back and she will attack for two more so up to six now I got Jubilee we're gonna exhaust her and the X jet to generate a random or a lightning bolt resource to do two damage And you know what's sad? I literally don't have any way of doing that last one damage. I can attack myself for two, but I'm just gonna thwart to get rid of this. Flipping down seems like a bad idea because then I'm definitely gonna lose this first scheme. But actually, forget that. Hold on. I have two life, Never mind. Sometimes you just gotta deal with the consequences of flipping down. Unless this says lose the game. No, that way I don't have to deal with a magnetic card also. Yeah, there's some things that are benefiting me to flip down now. I'm going to flip down. I'm going to search for a tactic card. And see if there's even one in there. Which there is not. So this is not great. I don't really have a way to get a tactics card. I've got this full blast which is awesome but since I'm not getting a tactic card believe it or not I'm gonna discard full blast I know it seems like heresy it's such a good card but 
I mean, I don't have a tactics card, so it doesn't really do me any good. I'd have to hold it for stinking ever. Okay, ooh, Wolverine makes me happy. Colossus, Angel, all right, and Field Commander. All these things, Danger Room Training. All right, so we got some stuff going on here. Let us add a threat. We never remove the threat because we heal. Then, gonna thwart for three plus another four. What? <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Well, that's seven threat added to the scheme. So, yep, this is gone. Uh, let's see what's over here. All right, one revealed. Place one magnet counter here. Uh, if sabotage mold is not the in the victory display, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of M type Sentinel and reveals it. Oh, so I had to get that to the victory display before that happened. But instead, where does it say to search? Let me see. So search for an M type Sentinel. And these guys haven't activated yet, so I might lose this scheme as well real quickly here, which is awesome. So it starts with one on it. Uh, by the way, uh, after you place a magnet counter on this scheme, and if there are at least three magnet counters here, discard cards from the encounter deck until the magnet card is discarded, reveal that card, and then remove three magnet counters. So... Discard cards from the encounter deck until you see a magnet card. Sure. And by the way, we still haven't schemed with... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That's a magnetic card. Was there another one? No, that was definitely his boost. All right. So this is the first magnetic card. It's a treachery. What do I do with it? Reveal the card, then remove three magnet counters. All right. When revealed, exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Place a magnet counter on the main scheme. Okay. Support and upgrade. Uh-huh. Yep. That is not what I wanted to see when I have all this high-cost stuff in my hand. Oh! And that's not even... All right, so now Mr. Sinister is going to activate and scheme. So that's only two, thankfully. One, two... And then two more from this Sentinel, which by the way, is was almost really bad. We almost lost that too. All because I didn't get rid of that one last threat here. Um, yeah, Jubilee probably should have done that at some point, but ugh. And I'm worried that if I like don't haven't advanced past this next one or whatever, when this goes away, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that one threat off this turn, I feel like. All right. I just lost all those resources. This is, oh, and I still haven't even drawn my encounter card, by the way. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control, place a magnet counter on the main scheme. All right, so that was not the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, Victor says things are getting out of hand. That's brutal and we've just begun. I mean, just begun, really? I feel like we haven't just begun, I just, Ah, <laughs> it's, things are fine. Everything is fine. Oh, stress. Stress is getting higher. Uh, Let's see. All right, so I should have six cards in my hand. I'm going to search for a tactic card, but there are none. I don't feel like I can afford to heal right now. Um, Do I have a lightning resource for Jubilee? I don't, which would have been nice because that would have defeated Mr. Sinister over here. All right, I'm gonna flip over. I definitely feel like I have to play Wolverine. So one, two, three, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Three, four, to put Wolverine into play. Then I'm going to put in Danger Room Training. Question is, do I put it on Wolverine or do I put it on Phoenix? Or do I put it on, Ju oh, I put it on Jubilee. So there you go. So Jubilee now attacks for two and has an extra life. So Jubilee is gonna do her attack to take care of Mr. Sinister. All right, that actually worked. Um, Now I got three attack from Wolverine. Let's go ahead and do that. And 
And actually, I still have not had to flip over for any of this. So I'm going to heal up. Then I'll flip up. Uh, he only takes two, but uh, M-type Sentinel over here takes three from Wolverine and two more from Phoenix. And Phoenix is defeated. All right. So, and Jubilee not defeated because of the danger room training. Okay. Well, oh, what's this? Oh, that's the stupid thing reason it got 10 life. All right. Do any of these other ones have victory on them, by the way? Have I been like, no. Okay. So this one does have victory. Get out of here. I never want to see you again. I know it's the last mission, but I'm putting it in there anyway. N Nano Sentinel Tech. Why? Because I wanted to show that I defeated this garbage, garbage card. Oh, victory displays down here. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, no. That's my nemesis cards. Let's move those over here. Okay. Whew. All right. Survive that turn. Um, eight life. It's not the greatest place in the world to be, but it's also not the worst. I do take an extra encounter card because I've decked myself. Let's go ahead and draw my last card. I have a lot of resources here and almost nothing to play it on. So I guess R&D facility comes out this turn because <laughs> literally nothing else. Uh, all right. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing. This is, I'm in a good spot. I'm going to keep telling myself that until I figure it out otherwise. All right. So we're going to add one here. Uh, let's see. Three attack. Do I take it? You know, I'm going to take it. Three attack plus a boost. Two more. So that's five attack. I'm down to three life again. That, that is what it is. Uh, oh, and we do a magnet card here. So we're going to go back down to nothing. So flip cards. That's an acolyte. That is a, not, that's an acolyte. Not a magnetic armor. Oh my. Attached to Magneto. Magneto cannot be confused. That's fine. Uh, hero response. After your hero makes a basic attack against Magneto, spend those to discard this card. So Magneto is basically scheming for plus one and can't be confused. I mean, this is permanent. That's not going away. Um, sure. I spend one of each resource to get rid of this garbage, but plus one scheme, I don't even know. Oh, wait, this went up to six. So we are done here. Because I did not pay attention to scheming last turn. That's what I should have done. Thwarting instead of healing myself, although I'd be dead. So I guess it's a good thing I messed that up. So this goes away. This comes out. Uh, one revealed, place two magnet counters here. Okay. Uh, if physical strain is not attached to Magneto, the first player searches the encounter deck. So physical strain. Okay, it's not there, let's see. Search for physical strain. What? Physical strain is not attached to Magneto. His helmet. What is going on here? Oh, I just did something. I changed the way my controls are working. Uh oh. Configuration. I don't know what I did. I definitely hit a button that I didn't want to hit. Controls. Stop. Reset to default. Why am I zooming in and out when I hit these buttons? I don't know what I did to my controls, but I don't like it. I switched to first person somehow. I've never done this before. <laughs> I don't like it. Anybody, anybody, save me. Options, info, server, grid, hand, turn, game keys. What is going on here? Menu, 
configuration interface I mean we're set to default game for set to default graphics sound I <laughs> blocked I don't know oh I did block somebody uh, all right no it's still not working what did I do <laughs> does anybody know how to get me out of this uh, height lifted games objects music options game keys I don't know what button I hit to make it so yeah this is really weird but I, I am not in normal scrolling mode and I saw something get hit when I ah no camera one oh no control one ah third person camera activated all right that is super fast no what did I do <laughs> that is like now I'm stupid <laughs> I, I hope you are already enjoying this as much as I am. I don't know what is going on here. Camera one saved. Shift one. All right. It's not that. I, I now have switched to like super zoom around mode. This is definitely different. Uh, okay. Function one. Function two. Function three. Control one. Control two. What button am I hitting? Graphic graphics have been reset to default. Like this is, <laughs> this is interesting. All right, I'm gonna delete all this out, but it's kind of hilarious. If I figure this out quickly, I, I, I won't delete it all. I'll just delete the non-funny parts out. If physical strain is not attached to Magneto, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a magnetic attachment and reveals it. I'm sorry. So never mind. So physical strain is not something I can search for. Let's look through the discard pile first. See if we have a magnetic attachment. Let's see if we have any attachments. All right. All that to say that I'm an idiot, which we kind of knew. This is not an attachment. Like attachments look like this. I don't know if we have any more attachments. Not in here. No. All right. So let's search here for a magnetic attachment. Magnetic bubble. Retaliate one. When Magneto would take any amount of damage, place it here instead. If there's eight or more damage. No, I don't want to do that. There's got to be a different one. <laughs> there's got to be a better one. Ah, here we go. Plus one attack. After a hero makes a basic attack, spend one of each resource to discard it. <sighs> Can't be stunned. Whatever. Fine. Stun goes away. Sure. Why not give you plus 57 attack? Okay. So all this happened just from losing this. When I lost the main scheme, he would have attacked for one more damage. So I take an additional damage from his attack. All right. Now I think we are to the place we're supposed to be. If this stage is complete, players lose the game. All right, so he had already attacked me. I just took the attack. Nothing else in front of me, but this is bad. I just saw this. When revealed, uh, reveal your set aside nemesis minion, put it into play, engage with you. Reveal your set aside nemesis side scheme and put it into play. Yep. So there's my side scheme. That is not my side scheme. Just kidding. This is my side scheme. Um. Do, do, do. So this gets two on it. Then we shuffle these into the deck. If your nemesis minion does not enter the game this way, this card game surge. My minion did not enter the game this way because he was already entered, which made that other card twice as brutal now. Uh, okay, the villain schemes. Sure, why not for one, two, three, four... This might be the game right here. Anyway, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. So I just lost there, which is fine. 
uh, we will leave the rest of this for you all to, this is going to be the end of my campaign playthrough. Uh, I'm going to leave it on a loss. I, we did get to see everything. I am going to go through the end of the story though, just cause I am curious how the story ends. Alrighty. End of the line, bub. Arg! Oh my stars and garters. The station's orbit was decaying. We're falling. That's it, team. Time to go. That was too close. Let's go home, mes amis. Washington, D.C. Still no intel on Magneto or the X-Men, Senator. Uh, but I have a report you requested. Navy reconnaissance confirms that Master Mold was completely destroyed when Asteroid M crashed into the Pacific. Blast! This will set our Sentinel program back at least four years. If you're looking for a solution to the mutant problem... Oh, speaking of Mr. Sinister, may I suggest something a little more sinister? Nice. So, that is where it's going to leave it. So, it looks like our next box is going to be Mr. Sinister something. And he was sinister. He led to us having a lot of bad stuff happen here. Good game. We saw a lot of Mr. Sinister. Yes, we did. And especially at the end dun 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 so what i realized is i could have blocked with jubilee losing her on that last turn wouldn't have lost me a whole lot i mean we lost because of threat anyway it was really bad when i hadn't defeated this and does this do anything uh if magneto can't have more than 18 sustained damage when defeated flip this card and reveal ah physical strain so that's what it wanted uh, magneto to have attached to magneto permanent Magneto loses steady. Oh. So, work your way through these threats. Because not only does losing here really kill you, but Magneto losing steady would have been really nice. Um, is this what gave him steady? No, it was this one. No, can't be confused. Oh, he starts steady. Yeah, Magneto losing steady and that stun triggering would have been super nice. Now, obviously, when this one came in, he couldn't be stunned anymore, but interesting. Well, so I'm super excited. I feel like I finished the campaign now. I probably will play more, but I don't want to uh, get this too close to when Steve stream streams tonight. So I'm not going to set it up and play it again. But I am super duper happy with this campaign. The last battle was epic, but it didn't feel unfair. Um, there were a, a few shorter ones in the middle, which I really liked. The first one's probably my least favorite scenario of all of them, but it's still a, I feel like it's a fun scenario that I'm going to have fun exploring later on, but it's not a great first scenario. The next four have been excellent. I've liked all of these next four. Um, and it's not even like I didn't like the first one. I just find it weird to be the first scenario. I found it difficult for a first scenario. I think that healing was just a bit much. Maybe it should have been one every time they activate against you or whatever. I get the point of like you can make it harder or more difficult by changing the, the mix of cards in there. So you can have more or less boost counters. But um, I mean, that is a nitpick on this campaign, which I think is really well done. I love the way they did it where you have a side scheme every mission. Once you get rid of it, it does something good for you normally, except of course on the last mission where it doesn't do something good for you. Um, but then it also adds something bad to the deck. That was pretty fun. Um, I feel like the fact that I didn't get rid of a lot of these, oh no, not the, the upgrades. Oh, what was my upgrade? Oh, I used it. <laughs> That's right, I used it. It gave me two resources to pay for something uh, and stun them. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, the story was super good. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. We'll review it again when we finish playing. Uh, don't forget, playing Friday night with Mary and Terrence. So come back and see us. We're going to do mission two, which I think is my favorite of all the missions, um, or scenario two, uh, Project Wide Awake. I really enjoyed that scenario. So come back, watch us play that on Friday. Um, we're going to play three players. We're doing expert, and we are going to construct our decks. So... Anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this campaign playthrough, and I will see you all soon. Bye!